walk a hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile. Hey everyone! Today we're going to be doing a update on nail polish collection, which means that we'll also be showing you the nail polishes that we're going to be getting rid of, as well as what we, our current collection consists of. Um, although our current collection isn't complete because we have, I have a few nail polishes at my apartment back in Berkeley, so it's not a complete collection, but it's pretty close. Yeah. And we also wanted to share like a few initiatives a few additions that we have. So now let's go to our nail polish collection. <laughs> so here is our nail polish collection and I'm just gonna start from here. Um, this row, these two rows are e.l.f. nail polishes and then the back is just pretty random. So you might notice that we actually flip the e.l.f. nail polishes over and this is because that way we can actually see what yeah. colors we're grabbing. Because if we were to just put it like this, I mean, they would all just be black. This one is e.l.f. pearl. This one is e.l.f.'s moonlight. This one is e.l.f.'s blush. This one is e.l.f.'s light pink. This one is e.l.f.'s champagne. This one is e.l.f.'s pearl pink. This one is e.l.f.'s coral. This one is e.l.f.'s bubblegum. This one is e.l.f.'s mod mauve. And the final one in this row is e.l.f.'s sunset. This one is e.l.f.'s fuchsia. This one is e.l.f.'s pink purple. This one is e.l.f.'s burgundy. This one is e.l.f.'s light red. E.l.f.'s medium red. And then this one is e.l.f.'s dark red. This one is e.l.f.'s plum. And this is actually my first nail polish from e.l.f. This one is e.l.f.'s chocolate. This one is e.l.f.'s dark navy. And then this one is just e.l.f.'s black. So those are all my e.l.f. nail polishes. Now moving on to over here. This one is a random brand. This one is Skin Timid Soothing Petals. Honestly don't remember how or where we got this, but it's just a light pink. This one is Skin Timid's cashmere rain. It's a really pretty sh uh, metallic pink. This one is Essie's barefoot in blue. This one is Essie's one days without blue, except for I think it kind of separated a little. This one is wet and wild spoil in the shade shrimp on the barbie, which is a super pretty glittery pink color. This is spoiled by wet and wild, our mermaids real. And then this one is Maybelline's color show in the shade styled out. And then over here we have two Zoe Yes. This one is in the shade Sharla, which is one of my favorite colors that we have. And then here is Zoya's Ivanka. And then I have this eggplant blue color. Then we have Revlon's Color Stay Rainforest which is just a sparkly green. It's really pretty. And then over here we have a Julep Snail Polish in the shade Anne. And then over here I have some Forever 21 nail polishes. Uh, this is just a purple color with gold undertones. This one is just a gold bronze overcoat. This one is really cool. It's a glow-in-the-dark nail polish. And it actually does glow in the dark. It's pretty cool. And then this one is just a orange color. Back here, I have some e.l.f. minis. This is in the shade Disco Dance. This is in the shade Sorority House. This is also in the shade Disco Dance. I think this was in a set, which is why a bunch of them have the same names. Yeah, this one is also Disco Dance. This is in the shade Sleepover. This is also in the shade Sleepover. This doesn't have a name, but I'm assuming this is from the set Sleepover. This is in the shade Sorority House. This one is also in the shade Sorority House. And then I have these two nail polishes that came in a set. One of my friends gave this to me, and it's just a Christmas red and then a glitter overcoat. And then I don't know what happened to the lighting. It just suddenly got really dark. But this is in the shade Heart Violet. This is in the shade heart josh and then this pretty blue is in the shade heart you and then i have this bright highlighter fluorescent color from claire's and then i had this orally mini and it's in the shade 600 which i don't know what shade that is but we got this in china this is from la colors i don't think it has a name it's it has a number though it's BCC579. Then I have these two OPI nail shatters. I did a review on these a year and a half ago. It was one of my first videos, but I'll link the video right 
in this corner. So I just have it in the shade white and black. And then I have this chunky glitter color from Daiso. It's just silver glitter. And in the back, I also have my top coat from Wet n Wild and my base coat, which is Sephora by OPI Hydrator. And I'm actually almost out of this top coat, which is why I have a backup. And this is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine, which is the same thing as this one. I also have this in the back and it's just chest rub from Target and I actually use this for my cuticles and it actually works pretty well. Yeah, I would recommend it for a cuticle conditioner if you don't mind the smell of mint. And then I have uh, some nail art stamping stuff. And I have a nail file from Forever 21 and I also have some toe separators is pretty random because I rarely use them and I think that is all for our nail polish collection and look at the mess that I made on the ground over here so I'm gonna go put these back so now that you've seen our nail polish collection we're gonna show you guys the nail polishes that we are going to be getting rid of so I guess I'll start and the first one that I have is the Sugar Kiss by e.l.f. nail polish in the shade Heart Pink. This is actually a limited edition from the Sugar Kiss line. And I use this color so much over the summer, it's like completely gone now. A little warning though, these nail polishes weren't very good to begin with. Yeah. Um, a lot of them were already very thick and dry. dry so it's not a huge, um, it's not a huge surprise that this one has, you know, dried up dried and up. died. So. I really like this color though. It was like a bright hot pink and it was I used it a lot. She used it so, a lot. Yeah. I used it like every single day over the summer. <laughs> that was pretty much my only nail color. Okay, I'll go with the next one. And the next one is a white and it simply is a white from ELF. Uh it was it had a really bad formula to begin with when we first got this, but now it's so dry you can literally see the formula dried up inside. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It's, it's like just so really watery and it's a mess right now. It's it's a really big mess. Um, I don't recommend getting this from e.l.f. Um, especially since now their nail polishes are $2 versus when I got this, this was $1. Yeah. And I don't think they've changed their formula since then. So uh, yeah, get like a, if you want a cheap white, get like a wet and wild white. Yeah. yeah. Wet and yeah. wild's pretty good. And it's cheap. Yeah. Next color I have is the shade Fire Coral by e.l.f. And this is also one of my favorites. Um, I use this so much over the summer as yeah. well. It's just really dried and clumpy now, and it's like, I don't know if you guys can hear, it's like really like crunchy. Like when you unscrew the thing, you can hear the crunches from the yeah. dried up nail polish. Yeah. It's just really thick, and I don't, I don't know. It's like really it's, sad because we do like this yeah, nail polish a lot. Yeah, we really like this color. Uh, this is something we would recommend getting maybe yeah. from e.l.f., but it's... It's something we have to throw away because yeah, we can't use it's... it anymore. My next color is this royal purple from ELF. It's really a shame that we have to throw this away, but it is dried up and clumpy like the rest. But it, it's a really gorgeous it's really royal pretty purple. Color. Um, it's kind of got like this uh, shimmery. It's not Sparkly. like glittery, but it's like a really shimmery. Yeah, I really color. like that color. So yeah, I would repurchase this again. But, but I don't know. They got rid of some of the colors that I, we have. Oh yeah, that's true. They did, I think, um, get rid of some of the colors on their website, so this might not be available. But I mean, I think a royal purple is essential for any nail polish yeah. collection. And then the final color that I have is Hot Pink from e.l.f. And this is also one of my favorites along with Fire Coral. It's just that it's dried up. Um, you can see like the inside of it's a really pretty hot pink. the um, bottle. It's just really dried up and I honestly cannot use this even if I try to. Mm -hmm. Which is really sad, I like this color. So this nail polish is actually one of Lisa's nail polishes. She bought this from China. Yeah, maybe like two years, three years ago. It I doesn't have remember. a brand. Um, the writing down below is in Chinese um, and it's in like the shade 22. So. We have no idea where this is from, but the packaging is just so adorable because so it's cute. like a it's like flower. A flower. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like can see. Like the tube top is in the shape of a flower and then the bottle itself is in the shape of a flower. So it's really adorable. It's a really cute color too. And it's yeah, just... 
It's like a cute so shimmery pink. It's, it's just like dried up and clumpy. So that is the nail polish that we are getting rid of for 2013. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Bye.